Next startup is a precision based agritech firm. Please welcome Intelo Labs. Hi, my name is Tanmay and I'm the head of Asia Pacific for Intelo Labs. Food and agriculture have been left behind despite the advancement of AI in other sectors. In the food supply chains, quality control is still done manually, leading to no visibility in the quality of food from farm to the consumer. Food companies and farmers bear the direct burnt of that. We aim to provide fair price to the grower so that he can get the right premium for his quality and we also reduce food wastage by ensuring that right quality is purchased by the food organizations. We use computer vision and deep learning to make image-based commodity grading solutions for agri and food companies. We work with growers, originators, food traders, food processors, and food retail companies. We have found GK Plug and Play Indonesia quite useful in terms of visibility among regional, corporates, and government. It was good to interact closely with mentors and decision makers from some of our target customer organizations. We also participated in PNP Silicon Valley and found it tremendously useful in terms of connections, exposure, and mentoring. In a future with more mouths to be fed, with limited resources, we envision food supply chains to be more efficient and less wasteful. Each participant in the food system, from farmer all the way to the consumer, will be empowered with data. We believe that as we take the solution to growers and other players, we will be able to impact food supply chains for everyone. We are Intello Labs and we are digitizing food quality. Hi, good afternoon. I am Dave, co-founder for Intello Labs. You've just heard Tarmay talk about food supply chain and how the quality assaying is being done manually today. The results of this manual food quality assaying are highly subjective, because of which the growers do not get the fair price for their produce. Not only that, the right produce does not enter the supply chain, which means there's a lot of wastage. It is estimated that close to 50% of the food is being wasted, which means we are only consuming half of what we are growing. And all that is primarily due to lack of digital quality in the whole supply chain. We at Intello Labs are digitizing the food quality. Uh, we are looking to create complete transparency in the food supply chain so that the, food, the problem of food wastage can be tackled. Our solution is a simple AI-based computer vision and machine learning-based co uh, image quality grading solution. All you need to do is take a picture of the quality sample using an app, which sends the picture to our servers based on the cloud, which read the image and report the quality grade of the sample almost within a minute. Since it is being done by a machine, the results are uh, objective, they are fast, and they are highly accurate. Going a little deeper into the technology, how it works is first we identify each and every uh, uh, piece into the image, remove all the noises, which is your non-food related particles, and then we have multiple layers of neural network which identify the various features on each of these fruits and vegetables. For example, we would identify the spots, we would identify the stalks, we would identify various cuts, cracks, and other color-based uh, impurities and defects. Not only that, we can also find out the severity of the defects, which uh, by using area logic, size, uh, shape, and so on. So we can differentiate between a spot, because of which the fruit tree is, looks, does not look good, but is still safe to consume, versus a borer hole, which makes the whole fruit unsafe for consumption. This is a result for grading of wheat using our softwares. As you can see, we can identify each and every wheat grain. Not only that, we can classify them into no perfectly normal wheat grains, into broken grain, into shriveled grain, wiveled grain, and so on. We can also identify various foreign matters, like husk, stone, pebbles, which are there in the, uh, in the sample, and then finally give an aggregated result, saying this is a sample which has got 96% normal grain, 3% wiveled grains, 1% foreign matter, and so on. And all this with an accuracy level of 92%, which has been benchmarked across various laboratories. If we look at this 50 grams of wheat sample, it takes a person close to 25 minutes to do the quality assaying of that, whereas we do all this within a matter of few minutes. Our solution is mobile-based. With any handphone which has got a camera of more than 7, me seven megapixels, the solution would work. It is easy to use, works with a simple app. It is configurable and customizable as per the organization's quality norms. 
So if to, uh, today you tell me that, okay, half green tomatoes are perfectly acceptable to me, I am ready to put them on the shelf, we'll do that. Versus a ketchup manufacturer who says, I don't want half green tomatoes, I only want red tomatoes, all this is a matter of seconds for us to change. Not only that, since the data is digital, we help companies run analytics and get insights and trends from this data, which helps them identify purchase level, uh, purchaser level uh, insights, grower level insights, seasonal insights, vendor level insights, and so on and so forth. By adding additional information like GRN number, invoice number, or truck number, we can help com bring in complete traceability across the supply chain with respect to quality. The key advantage of the solution are that it reduces subjectivity and it's a digital solution. Our clients today don't say that their quality is good, their quality is bad. They say their quality is 98% grade A. They say the problem in their uh, quality is 3% grade C defects coming in. Right? So we've moved that from a subjective good and bad to an objective number-based quality system. The whole solution is versatile. It can be applied anywhere at uh, warehouses, purchase centers, food processing centers, even at customer centers. And the capex is low because all we require is a handphone and a net connection, which makes the solution highly scalable. Our competition is the traditional uh, machine manufacturers which make bulky and expensive uh, equipment for quality grading, and some new age companies which are doing a, com a very specific use case for a particular commodity. Intello Labs is the only organization which has got a flexible solution which can be applied across multiple use cases, as well as we are working across 30 plus commodities in the food supply chain. The team consists of technology experts who worked at companies like Amazon and Yahoo. We've got agribusiness experts who've worked at companies like Cargill and Olam, and data science experts who worked with KPMG, Dunhambi, and so on. Together, it's a team which has got a combination of business knowledge, technology knowledge, and we are working to solve the quality-related problems in the food supply chain. We are working with various clients across uh, grains like wheats, where we help them bring in visibility into their purchase for the season. Spices like cardamom, where we've helped auctioners reduce the time of assaying from 25 minutes to 2 minutes per sample, and not only that, increase the accuracy levels from 70% to 90%. And retailers for fruits and vegetables, where we are giving them uh, visibility into their uh, purchase supply chain. We are working in, we are based out of India, and we've won the President's Award in India for uh, our innovation. And we are standing here today in Indonesia to, get, uh, to work in the Indonesian infrastructure and create and digitize the supply chain here in Indonesia. Thank you. Sisi inovasi produk, tapi cukup menarik dari sisi um, foundernya. Karena foundernya namanya tidak asing lagi, anak presiden, tapi hadir di sini untuk mengikuti proses mencari funding dari anda-anda semua di sini. Please welcome Terna Kopi. Hi, my name is Ansari Kadir, CEO and co-founder of Terna Kopi Indonesia. Coffee is not just any beverage, it's considered as a ritual for most people to start the day. Signature receipt is needed to make a perfect cup of coffee. Terna Kopi receipt has been developed by Kaisang Pangarap over a year since he started his barista training. Terna Kopi is one of Indonesia's proud coffee retail. We take its name from Ternak, which is slang to Ternak. Our receipts are made with secret traditional ingredients. Our strength not only in the quality of the coffee, but also in the experience our customers have with us when the visit. Works take away, coffee consumes 500 billion plastic coffee per year. Ternak Kopi will provide better eco-friendly packaging by using carton. Being a part of GK Plug and Play has been an amazing experience. We could connect with other brilliant startups and investors. GK Plug and Play have opened the ideas with support from professional mentors. As Ternak Kopi, we believe to become one of the best coffee producers in Indonesia and a create influence around Europe and Asia. Our vision is to build a local brand that is compatible with other multinational companies. Terna kopi, karena ini kopi terenak.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Perkenalkan nama saya Kaisang Pangarep, saya adalah CPO dari Ternak Kopi. Kita tahu konsumsi kopi di Indonesia itu tambah terus sekitar 10% per tahunnya. Tapi ada beberapa masalah. Seperti sebenarnya kopi yang berasal dari Indonesia itu diekspor ke luar negeri, diimpor balik lagi ke Indonesia. Tapi kita tidak tahu bahwa sebenarnya itu adalah kopi yang dari Indonesia. Kita juga tahu banyak dari kita yang pengen minum kopi tapi nggak bisa karena ya masalah sama lambung. Kita juga tahu ba tidak banyak barista yang tersedia di Indonesia. Nah, di sini saya ingin menunjukkan kami lokal brand kopi di Indonesia bernama Ternak Kopi. Di sini bukan berarti gambarnya kayak logonya PDI ya. Bukan karena bapak saya orang PDI, terus saya juga pakai logo PDI, enggak. Di sini enggak ada sama sekali sangkut pautnya. Nah, di sini kami menggunakan teknik yang namanya cold brew. Di sini cold brew itu teknik yang dimana tingkat keasaman kopi itu dapat berkurang, jadi aman buat lambung kami, lambung kita. Dan produk dari ternak kopi itu sangat mudah dibuat. Enggak perlu yang namanya barista profesional pun bisa buat juga. Karena rahasia dari kami adalah kualitas dari bahan yang kami pakai di ternak kopi. Ini adalah 10 varian yang ada di ternak kopi dan harganya sekitar harganya adalah 20.000 dan 30% penjualan kami itu berasal dari kopi gula Jawa. Kami memiliki target market uh, umur 18 sampai 35 tahun, pelajar, mahasiswa sampai pekerja yang memiliki gaji sekitar 3 juta rupiah. Nah, kami itu sebenarnya uh, salah satu lokal brand kopi yang menggunakan lopi, kopi lokal dan satu-satunya yang memiliki varian banyak yang menggunakan teknik cold brew. Di sini kami juga bekerja sama dengan Alfa Midi. Nah, di situ berarti di mana ada Alfa Midi bakalan ada ternak kopi. Ini adalah beberapa booth dari ternak kopi yang ada di paling kiri atas itu adalah yang ada di Alfa Midi, yang di sebelahnya adalah yang bakal kami launching dua hari lagi di Mall Arta Gading, dan yang di bawah adalah office concept, jadi mungkin di sini ada yang office-nya perlu tempat nongkrong atau tempat diskusi kafe kopi, kami bersedia untuk mengisinya. Nah, di sini kami juga sedang mengembangkan aplikasi supaya nanti bisa diorder secara online dan ada point reward di mana nanti bisa mendapatkan kopi gratis. Dalam tiga minggu kami sudah berhasil menjual sekitar 8.000 botol dan dalam empat tahun ke depan kami mempunyai proyeksi mendapatkan omset sekitar 184 miliar dengan catatan kita membuka 500 cabang, 500 titik di seluruh Indonesia. Ini adalah teman nongkrong saya. Kami tidak suka kopi, tapi pengen minum kopi. Nah, dari situlah tercitanya ternak kopi. Ini adalah contoh beberapa waktu itu kami buka ternak kopi di Alfa Midi Super Cipayung, Jakarta Timur. Ya, Alhamdulillah lumayan rame. Jual 2000 aja. Terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Terima kasih. Ternak kopi. Next is a startup which is a marketplace aimed at helping catering companies offer their culinary products to a customer. Please welcome Red Candy. Hi, my name is Zamzam Reza and I'm the founder and CEO of Red Candy. Prior to starting Red Candy, the nature of catering business and the selection of caterers by companies were fully manual. Companies had to search for caterers manually through either acquaintances or word of mouth. 
In addition to this inefficiency, the meals provided doesn't address worker nutritional, nutritional needs, have uncertain quality standards in terms of hygiene and freshness, as well as lack of transparency in terms of performance feedback. Red Candy aims to enhance people's productivity via nutrition empowerment. What we mean with this bold statement is simply that balanced nutrition leads to better health and increased energy, thus enhanced productivity. Balanced nutrition is achieved by aligning our extensive meal package with various work activities, budget, and taste. Workers also have the opportunity to daily rate and review the meals they consume. GK Plug and Play connected us with potential investors and the right mentors so we can build the right strategy and target the right market. Naturally, with commerce shifted to technology, consumer catering services embrace technology, and food takeout for consumers are now dominated by ride hailing. It was a perfect time for industrial caterers to follow the shift to technology. Red Candy shifted our customers' mindset from caterers being the forefront to meals and nutrition at the forefront. This is where we are today and there are much more than we can enhance, improve, and optimize this sector. Red Candy, balanced nutrition, great workers, enhanced productivity. Good evening, my name is Dennis Pratista, and I'm the deputy CEO of Red Candy. The industrial carrying business has been around for over 40 years in Indonesia. This initiated back in the days when factories started developments around Java. Catering service companies exist simply to enable those factories feed their workers. However, they did not take into account the right nutrition for the activities. And since those days, little has changed. Simplified, there are three types of worker activities. Low, medium, and high energy, which varies in the calories, carbohydrates, and protein numbers. Naturally, we want to align meals with their activities for enhanced productivity. We want to disrupt the existing journey from the initial caterer selection to meals and nutrition. At Red Candy, we have three social objectives. Help society gain proper nutrition in the workplace, assist partners grow the right way, and empower workers with their nutrition consumption. Our milestone since 2016, we have grown from 85 portions per day as of April 2016 to 150,000 portions per day as of quarter one 2019 and almost 2,000 multiple. We have also grown our GTV to 126 and a half billion rupiah with revenues of four and a half billion rupiah. Potential market is huge and untapped, with 17.5 million factory workers. To date, we currently operate in parts of Bandung, Jakarta, and West Java, with potential market of 4 million workers. Within the Red Candy Company, we have four products. Red Candy, a B2B industrial catered marketplace focusing on meals and nutrition and quality growth for our partners. Green Candy, a financial partner to assist caterers with their working capital to optimize their kitchen usage and growth. Yellow Candy, a fresh produce aggregator to supply quality raw materials to caterers. And Blue Candy, a worker application to empower workers giving feedback on their meals. Our revenue model. With Red Candy, we charge 3% commission on recurring orders. With Green Candy, we take 5% revenue sharing fees monthly. And with Yellow Candy, we take a trade spread of between 5 to 20%. Our most prominent customers we have the Indonesian Stock Exchange, Astra Dahatsu Motor, and Mitsuboshi. As an example, Mitsuboshi uses our Blue Candy application. They claim that acquiring workers' feedback on their meals improves working environment and productivity. Our management team, we have Zamzam Reza, Heri Sunaryadi, myself, and Yuri Hasyardi. 
We all aim to contribute in enhancing our nation's productivity and help with small medium enterprises in the F&B sector. Our board, we have Toto Sugiri, Alex Rusli, and Kobi San. Our ask is for a strategic partner that can help expedite our growth in terms of daily portions. Having presented all that, I want to ask, do you want to join us in making an income while making an impact? Thank you very much. Gara-gara makanan, kita bisa jadi lebih semangat memulai hari. Makanan juga yang selalu nemenin kita untuk jalanin aktivitas. Makanan itu bikin semua jadi lebih berwarna. Gara-gara makanan, kita bisa kerja target. Makanan juga yang bisa buat kerja semalaman jadi menyenangkan. Coba lihat. Bahkan dari makanan, kita bisa temukan kesuksesan. Apapun itu, pasti bisa kita wujudkan dan semua berawal dari nutrisi makanan. Karena itu, dengan Red Candy, kami siapkan nutrisi tepat sesuai porsi dan kebutuhanmu. Gara-gara Red Candy, produktivitas jadi milik kita.